Da, 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 I hope that song is not copywritten. <laughs> Welcome to Christmas Eve, everybody, if no. you observe the holiday. No, you guys are seeing this on Christmas. Oh, Christmas Day. Yes. If you observe. So if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas Merry Christmas, to you guys. if not. Happy Saturday. Hello, and welcome to What's Old Saturday. So we are filming this actually on Christmas Eve. So Wolf. yesterday, um, mm -hmm. in the morning, our family actually hosts Christmas Eve. So just bear with us. If we seem a little run down, we are literally in the middle of cleaning the entire house top to bottom. And, and we haven't eaten yet, and it's um, almost one. And if the setup seems in any way a little weird, high, tall, Zoomed in, zoomed out. So you know how everyone has the one room or closet when they're hosting that just kind of becomes the like. You just kind of push it there and then you'll remember that's, it later. That's the posh room right now. So we're literally like smashed in here, like surrounded oh by household items. Mm -hmm. So if the setup seems weird, Ooh. that's why. We did want to give you guys a normal what's on Saturday this week, even if it means not filming it on Saturday. So obviously this will not count any sales, literally only from Friday night, which. I don't think too many people are going to be shopping on Christmas Eve. And we're going to be busy. I was going to say, and I'm not going to be paying attention to the phone. There probably won't be any anyways. So, this will cover the 18th through the 24th, as it normally would, even if we filmed it tomorrow. And like we said earlier in the week, we did want to thank you guys who sent, who purchased from us yes. last week, because we didn't do a normal one. And at the end of this video, we're doing the, like, five or six P.O. Box packages that we had in the P.O. Box. I'm so excited. super excited about. And I know that I think we said <sighs> Debbie was going to be in this one but she's just, cooking Swedish meatballs we didn't think about the timing that this was gonna be filmed on Christmas Eve so she's very busy <laughs> she's she's in the kitchen literally she's mixing it like a stir fry still in pajamas she has not changed <laughs> since this morning so Thank we're you know hoping that. that next week possibly even though next week will be New Year's Eve so like we just we also host New Year's Eve so we'll see but it's coming we'll soon it she'll be in a what's on Saturday again mm -hmm. very soon just the soonest one that it's like physically possible for once the holidays kind of simmer and settle yes then we'll bring Debbie anyways I guess first we will thank you guys from last week. Then I have two eBay sales that I just want to mention. Then we'll jump into the normal week from Poshmark. And so I will thank you guys from last week first. And I'm not going to put pictures in for this because that'd be a lot of editing. So I am just going to kind means. of thank you by name and still say what you bought. So Kathy, thank you so much, Kathy. Kathy. She purchased some Athleta Chaturunga high-rise leggings. Oh, I love yeah. selling at Chaturungas. They are like the Wonder Under knockoff. So These thank really you, good. Kathy. Tiffany purchased purchased the Goosebumps crop top graphic t-shirt. A lot of people wanted this, but Tiffany snatched it. So Tiffany, I hope that you love that. It looks it's like it's being delivered today when we're filming. So by the time you see this, you should have got it and I hope that you love it. Annie purchased some Torrid Boyfriend Relaxed Jeans. So thank you very much, Annie. I hope you love them. Those are Mar cute purchased a bundle from me. She got an Anthro Little Leopard Pot, a Zara pair of textured button fly trousers, and some really cute Saludos oh, sandals. So I hope you love those, Mar. She did say she did in the review. So thank you very much, Mar. In the review. In the rating. In the rating. In the, the review. Which yeah. she reviewed. Mac purchased an Anthropology Llama sweater. And that was actually from Debbie's own personal collection. So she gets the money from it. I was just selling it for her. And so thank you, Mac. I hope you love that. That was really cute. And it's like a super rare Anthropology it sweater. It was super cute, though. Jill purchased something from my personal collection. Jill. And it was a coach store star graphic printed monogram backpack keychain. So it was a little mini backpack was so that cute. was a keychain. I wanted to keep it so bad, but again, I bought myself a Christmas present and when I buy myself things, I like to sell things to make up for that, that money. Two Christmas presents. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jill. She said she loves it and she has a new bag to put it on. So that's perfect. What new, bag did, what new bag did you put it on? Do we, uh, did I'm we sell it to her? Sure. No, no, oh, she like okay. got a new bag. It was a new bag. A new, new bag. Amanda made two purchases from me. She purchased a bundle first and it had some camo spanks, which we love. Love. Some faux leather beta brand pants, which we, we love, absolutely love. love. And some Aritzia Levi's skinny jeans, which we also love. So she's got some good taste. And then she also, for her, I forgot if it was a friend or family member, but she purchased a Barefoot Dreams Doom Cozy Chic Poncho. So soft, and it was like brand new. So it's going to be an amazing freaking Christmas I've gift. I've never seen the ponchos before. I had neither. And it was one size fits all, which was super nice. So love Amanda, that. thank you so much. And I hope that who that's going to loves it. Unless you get tempted to keep it, I could understand that as well. I understand that. 
<laughs> just get her a gift card. It's yeah, fine. <laughs> get her okay. a Starbucks gift card. I was going to say, just get her a Target gift card. That'll be fine. <laughs> so Taylor got the really cute, um, oh my gosh, what was it? The Yale little sweater oh. vest, which, oh, I was so tempted to keep yeah, that. So really thank you, Taylor. Charlotte popped in and bought this really cute Urban Outfitters, Urban Renewal, little upcycled, like, Princeton sweatshirt. A lot of things with the colleges. Yeah. For some reason. The girlies. The girlies. The girlies, yes. Um, so, Charlotte, I hope you enjoy. And then Marcy came in and snatched one of my last remaining anthropology cat, Carol Adkins, plates. Please! <laughs> I beg you, go buy the other one. <laughs> I don't want them anymore. I'm sick of looking at them. We're kind of over the hard goods. Over I'm here. over the plates. I don't need them. I got them. You want them? You take them. Please, <laughs> just take it off my hands. <laughs> so thank you, Marcy, for the plate. We're buying the plate. And then Kate got this pair of new tag anthropology, the Olori pom-pom, really cute little wide leg pants. They have these really fun little poms by their waist. And it's like, oh, what a fun little Christmas. Christmas gift to yourself. Something mm -hmm. fun. And then Gina also got a pair Gina. of them really fun anthropology pants. So Gina, hello. I think Gina sent us a package that's right out in the hallway. She absolutely did. So, so Gina, thank you. And then I'll be thanking you again. Yes. In a minute. And that is it. Then on eBay, I have two things to say. And one of them is actually because it was a purchase from a viewer as well, which I didn't know anyone knew how to find my eBay account. I don't know so, how, what my eBay username is. Carolyn found my eBay. And she purchased a Coach Burgundy C logo tri fold wallet from me oh. and i really wanted to keep this is this the one going but it, it looks like it went international so actually yeah if any of you do huh. watch us from a different country and you want to buy from us we both have global shipping turned on, on ebay, eBay. So that works good for everyone involved. Wow. So thank you, Caroline. I DM with her a lot on Instagram. And she, she's really she nice. She likes, Canada? She likes Halloween-y type stuff as well. It doesn't say what country it goes to. It just oh. it just says it's global. So hmm. I hope Well, that, Caroline, I hope I hope that you love it. I'm yeah. honestly jealous. I just have too much wallets. And then my other sale didn't go to any of you guys, but I wanted to show you guys that on eBay, my highest sale this week was this pair of Sophia Webster pom-pom detailed tassel slide sandals. And I've never had this brand before, but it's very expensive and it's quite the bolo. And these sold for mm -hmm. 160 Ooh. and they were actually missing a pom. So that's a really good price. But like for... you couldn't tell though. No, like they're, it's, they're, so they're very just like sporadic poms. So like it wasn't like a pattern that like, because one was missing, it looked weird. Like. It works, which you guys can see that. So. My one big old eBay sale, which I actually think is my highest sale of the week, was this new tag coach. It was the Dreamer Gray Leather Little Satchel. Oh my God, this thing was absolutely stunning. And I sold it for $215. I love Coach. I, the new stuff. Both of us just got stuff. a lot of really oh, cute love. handbags in if y'all need a nice new handbag. Nice new condition. Speaking of Coach. Next to new. Rare Coaches. I got a really cute Brahmin in recently. Too, I got a Coach that looks like a candy cane. And unfortunately, I bought it like <laughs> we four got days it, before We got Christmas. it a little month late, but I think okay. it'll still be good. Uh, so let's jump into normal Poshmark sales. Regular week. And this week is the 18th through the 24th. And like I said, today is the 24th, so I know I don't have any. I had two. Okay, so we'll still talk about them. But they were from like early this morning. Yeah, this morning. This morning. So on the 18th, I did have five sales. I had one. My first sale was this pair of Birkenstock Burko suede black mules. I had never heard of Burko. I've heard of like Burkies. Is and... it like a comfort line? It looks just like Birkenstock. You know what? I don't they know. changed the wording and they all just look the yeah, same. Yeah, it's Burke with some kind of letter at the end all the time. <laughs> sold for $30 and I get 24. Then I sold, I feel like Ryan, except he would have got like twice the price. I sold this rare Urban Outfitters BDG belted hooded teddy trench. It's so cute. Super cute. And I actually did pay 15 for this. Just because like I knew it'd do good. It was also the beginning of winter when mm -hmm. I bought this and I was like, perfect timing. Did only sell for 40 and I get 32. I did want more than that, but I can't sell Urban that good. So when I got that offer, I was like, you got it. And at least it doubled the money. You know? Then I sold this pair of Levi's made and crafted split straight pants. These were actually for my own personal collection. I never wore them, but I bought them for me thinking they're really cool and they are. But then I would just like, I have so many pants. I have so many jeans. I need to do that. I my just New Year's don't goal see, is to go through my closet. I just didn't really see a situation. And I was like, since it's new a tag, why not sell it before I take the tag off and only wear them like once? Ugh. Sold for 80 and I get 64 because it's made and crafted. Then I sold this pair of Salvatore, Salvatore, I kind of said it right. It Salvatore just, it felt Ferragamo. Weird. Ferragamo. Did you hear, so we went to the really bougie mall a while ago and there was a woman, very Minnesotan, like border, like International Falls. <laughs> and she goes, I'm at the Salvatore Ferragamo store. 
Ferragamos. I'm gonna go get a new pair, like verbatim, and it was the funniest. Do we have thing a Ferragamo store? Yeah. I don't think we do. But they might That's sell the them. At one of, yeah, I don't think so. She was. She, well, they probably sell them at one. You of know those what? Stores. She was buying a new pair of Salvatore Ferragamo shoes, and she was <laughs> pumped about it. It was so, so funny. I sold a pair of them, <laughs> and it was this chain logo cap toe ballet flat. And normally, I don't sell my Ferragamos. I send them to the real real. But these reminded me a lot of Chanel. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna sell these, and sure enough, they did sell in like a month. They were cute for eighty bucks, and I get sixty four. Did you sell them to her? Then maybe. Did they go to international? Maybe Falls? now they're. <laughs> being called Ferragamos. Ferragamos. The Salvatore Ferragamos. Kelly then popped into my closet and Kelly purchased three pairs of Tord leggings from that hole. So the thank hole. you very much, Kelly. She got the two pair of like moto ones, the pink and the black. And then she also got those really cute floral embroidered ones. Those were super cute. So I sent her an offer of 85 and I get 68. So thank you very much, Kelly. It's Kelly. And that was it for the 18. My one and only on the 18th was my first time finding this brand, Big Bolo. I know we've talked about it before. Miss Dale of Norway. Very expensive Norwegian wool sweaters. I think like this one is a newer version. The vintage ones, I think I honestly sell for more. They're like really. Real Norwegian with they, the little Santa buttons and they got all the glitz and the glam and the thing. They going. all do good. They all do quite Old, well. Old, new, stained, maybe a small hole. It all does People good. love them. Uh, so I listed this one at 150 I did like pay up for this. I paid $14 and I listed it and then that next day I got an offer of 125 Made 100 bucks. So like, easy money. Yeah. And that was it for my 18th. On the 19th I had two. I had two as well. My first one went to Lori. So Lori. thank you, Lori. Actually, they both went to Lori. So thank you very much, thank Lori. You, Lori. Lori purchased a pair of the Free People Levi's 70s Ultra High Flare Jeans. This is actually that pair, if you remember that I said in our Favorite Brands Ever video, I said I've paid $36 for a pair of Levi's. This was the style. And because I knew they'd sell for a lot, like this pair sold for 118 and I get 94.40. Super cute. Very super cute. on trend, sold at every freaking store. Free people, mm -hmm. Levi's, Anthro, Aritzia, everywhere. So I knew they were worth it. And so thank you, Lori. You're gonna look very trendy and very cute. You are gonna look very good. And then she also bought this vintage Bermal cheetah leopard print scarf, and it sold for 40 to her, and I get 32. Bermal, the comps were like really good. So that's why I picked that up at the bins. Usually we just pick up scarves to ship with. I pack them. And I actually saw this morning, someone had commented on the haul last night and asked, what do you mean you ship with scarves? So we like use it sometimes like tissue paper. Like we yeah. wrap something in a Or if it's like a scarf. bundle, I like make the box, put the scarf in, and then kind of tie the scarf yeah. around the bundle. So you just put the thing yeah. in it. And it's just kind of as like a little bonus extra. And at the bins, it doesn't cost you anything. They weigh nothing. No. So. so, and sometimes I pick up like wool plaid scarves, like brandless ones, and I just send them along with coats as like oh, a bonus. Oh yeah, they're cute. It costs not that much. And then people are happy. And people like, my one and only, no, I had two, I lied. My first and the night was this anthropology knitted and knotted little lace it was like the lace that went down the arm my toddler got cut off so i don't know what the name of it was little sweater sold for 30 dollars minus a shipping discount i made 13.54 then i sold this rare new with tag kate spade yellow tweed little backpack i've had this forever and i was getting to the point where i kind of wanted to keep it because it's so cute um i got an offer of 130 dollars and i made 104 and that was a outlet arbitrage yes which... i wouldn't recommend I paid seventy dollars for this. I'm only making, I'm only making thirty bucks. Yeah. Like I made money on it, but like. And the comps were like three hundred, but like with outlet I, stuff, that's they're made all over the. I don't country, know how so. people like make money at outlets. I don't either. So I mean, like I didn't lose any money, which is good, but I don't want to do that again. Yeah. So then on the twentieth, I had five. I had two. My first one was this Veronica Beard schoolboy white blazer. This is probably like the most boring Veronica Beard I've ever had. We'll it was one. literally just white, not like super long, not like any kind of like crop, nothing, not even double breasted, like just very simple. And so it still sold for 150, but for Veronica Beard, that's like honestly not that high. No, that's pretty low. And I get 120, but I mean, I'm still glad to have that sale. Then I sold a bundle to Melinda. Melinda. Hello, Melinda. She's one of the premiere gang. She's always watching in the premieres. Hi, Melinda. I'm sorry that this video is not a premiere. We're at Ryan's it's family's Christmas for Eve. Christmas. You know, it's Christmas Day. We're at my house. Uh, my she got a house. bundle for her daughter, which was so Literally sweet of her. Nice. 
She got her daughter this Anthropology Flora Nycruz Harbor Pajama Top. Blanky, which is a bolo, it's a maternity shapewear. High waist maternity leggings, soft surroundings waffle thermal top, and Anthropology Splendid Watermelon Ombre Top. And all of these sold to 90, sold $4.95. We've been cleaning, I've been inhaling bleach. I, we, and I haven't eaten, so <laughs> I'm running on fumes. Um, and I only had a little bit of my coffee so far. Uh, so I get 76, so thank you very much, Melinda. I hope your daughter loves them. Then, Big my one. highest sale of the week, and normally I would do the Angels From Above song and noise, but I said I've already beat a dead horse with we that. Beat, we use that one. But maybe since things. it's Christmas, I should do some kind of like ringing bells dun, dun, and it's, dun, it's like Santa dun, coming dun. down the chimney. Santa just falls. So it's Agua Bendita. And it was this Agua by Agua Bendita coral print linen long sleeve dress. So freaking cute. Personally, this is like possibly my favorite Agua Bendita print, but I mean, they're mm -hmm. all just amazing. They're beautiful pieces. But I oh. love this coral print. It's so like witchy. Even the white ones like this, it just gives me kind of like witchy vibes. This sold for 575 which was my absolute lowest. I was not going a dollar less than that. I did have this price at like 790. And I was going back and forth with this lady and sometimes you get tired of that and you're like, you know what? This is my absolute lowest if you want it. You can have it. Take it or leave it. If not, I'm not going any lower. So that's what happened mm -hmm. with that. And I'll get 460. I would like to get a little bit more, but I mean, I'll take that. So yeah, love Agua Bendita. Then I sold this Bowdoin Hodgepoth, which was actually what it was called. What the heck? Like, I was a like, Hodgepodge? It's almost like Hodgepodge, but it was called like Hodgepoth. That's some English nonsense. <laughs> I don't know. Floral color black <laughs> blouse for $35, and I get $25.54. And this person said that they bought it for their new job that they just got. Oh, which good makes for me them. so for happy. You. Not a viewer, but congrats to this person. To this lovely individual that got a new job. Then I sold the Lululemon Manifesto Mantra Scarf, which that still scares me that it's the Manifesto. The Lululemon bags <laughs> and like the words are just weird. Sold for $30. I get 24, and that's it for the 20th. Okay, my one, no, I had two in the 20th, oh Lord. Melinda, that popped into my closet oh. as well. So thank you again, Melinda. She got this Free People Black Moonshine Cold Shoulder Top. I've sold this top a million and a half times. And then this is my bad. She bought a little Urban Outfitters hoodie and I already had gotten rid of it. So I said, Melinda, be the girl, go pick something else. And she got a really cute pair of camo chaser joggers. Mm. So thank you, Melinda, for being flexible with me. Bundle sold for $50 and I made 40. I had all four things that Melinda bought. <sighs> You know what? I try. I do my absolute best, and sometimes that's just not good enough. <laughs> then I sold this Love Your Melon Blue Knit Beanie Hat. Sold for 15 I made 12 And this, I shipped it, and I swear to God, I dropped it in the mailbox, and then I got that five-star rating. It was so fast. Yeah. It was so weird. I wonder if it went to, like, Minnesota. I, I don't wouldn't know. be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me. Everybody and their mom has, like, a collection of them Yeah. Here. Then I had one sale on the 21st. I had three. My only sale was a good one, though. Very my second one. best of the week. Third, third best of the week. It was this, once again, rare Ted Baker gold fireworks metallic long sleeve dress. And I don't say once again because it was returned. I say once again because I found it for a second time. I love this dress. So this is a really rare dress. And I've somehow found it twice. And I freaking love it. It's my favorite Ted Baker dress I've ever seen. Sold for $200. Oof. This one was a really good size. So I think that's why it sold. It sold pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And I get 160 And... Hopefully, last time that I sold it, that week, I found it again. So, Ted Baker, we're, we're gonna back. go thrifting in Iowa. Where you at, girly? Gonna go thrifting in Iowa. Be there. Be there <laughs> I'll see you there. Be square. <laughs> okay, first on the 21st is not something I typically sell at all. Uh, new inbox, it was a sleep number tan king smart bed skirt. I don't know what about a bed skirt is smart. It was a tan bed skirt. Uh, sold for $30 minus a shipping discount. I made $21.54. What a smart bed skirt you got there. There was like three more and I should have grabbed them. I'm yeah. irritated. Then I sold this Coach Pink Alex Pad Leather Large Tote and Little Wallet set for $35 minus a shipping discount. I made it $25.54. I am trying to move some of this stuff out of my house. New Year's resolution. I don't want to be ordered. Get it out of my life. Keep it back though. <laughs> and then I saw this pair of vintage 1970s forest green flag pants. This is another one of those things where I'm just like, go to somebody else who's gonna love you. Uh, sold for $20. I made $13.54. Then on the 22nd, I had two. I had two as well. 
My first one was this Bolo Vitaliano Born Pen. Born. Vitaliano Pencaldi Colorful Art Silk tie. I one time found like a whole, one time I found one and I Googled it and I was like, oh, this is like really, they're like 200 to $250 scarves. Dies. And the, I always call it a scarf. <laughs> and th I saw the comps were like a hundred, like 75 to a hundred. So I was like, I'm going to pick this up. And it's a tie at the bins. They wait. And like then pen. like later, like two weeks later, I found like 10 of them. And so I have slowly, but surely selling through all of them. I've sold some of them for like 80 bucks. I for think a tie. I, I only had like two left out of like 10 that I had. Can you imagine having a thousand dollars in ties? Nothing. I literally got like an entire bag of ties and I weighed it and I think the whole bag cost me $12 and I easily made like $350. Off all those ties. Literally. It was like Brioni ties, Missoni ties, Vitaliano, and then like some other expensive ones. Love that. This one sold for 40 This is like the type of stuff that like people love from this dude. Mm -hmm. This super colorful stuff. And I get 32 but that cost me nothing. Then I sold a Grateful Dead logo bleach dyed hat for only 15 and I get 12 That's okay. Okay. My first on the 22nd was this new tag free people beige boho tiered dress. It was like the chrysanthemum skipping through a field with blonde hair dress. I don't know. Uh, sold for $90. I made 72, but here's my tip. I Google the name of the free people item and then I completely ignore it because if you Google free people, like the chrysanthemum dress, there's like a thousand of them mm -hmm. and they never sell. But if you put like free people boho tiered floral That's embroidered maxi dress. I usually for the title just do I never keywords. Put, yeah, I never put the name. And then I'll put the name sometimes in the description. Because if someone is looking for that specific one. That if I remember. It'll still show up. Me too. Okay, so some people say to put the like model name or whatever, the style name do in the title. Do that for coach purses and Lululemon leggings. It's up to you, but my thought process is someone's then gonna find yours and be like, I love this. And now that they have the name, they're, they're gonna, gonna go it. search it and they're gonna find one that's And cheaper. they're gonna find some schmuck on the internet selling it for like $10. Up to you though. Be some people say that you should I don't either. I don't. Yeah. Okay. Then on the 22nd, so I found a little honey hole at one of the consignment stores that we go to all the time of anthropology home items. I had like knobs and then I found all these Christmas ornaments and like, I don't know what family has an S and an M and a K, but I'm slowly selling through them. Oh, they had a J. The too, schmucks. Which was cute. The schmucks, literally. The schmucks. Um, so this mother was like, I need these Christmas ornaments. And I was like, okay. And now that I think about it, I feel like I sent her an M and I hope to God I didn't send her an M. Fingers crossed. Um, so she got them for $30 for the two of them and I will potentially make 24 <laughs> and then send this poor mother an S and an M. <laughs> oh, I think I did. Oh, Gosh dang it. I actually okay. kind of think you did too. Ooh. Well, and she was like, can you ship them out now? And I was like, well, I'm not going to get there by Christmas. Uh, okay. On the 23rd. That might be a return. On the 23rd, I had <laughs> one. I had three. My only one, and this is my last sale of the week, was this rare Escada Juggler Medieval Print Silk Blouse. I also just found a really cute Escada piece and I'm quite excited to list it. It's a little plaid skirt. And it's this a plaid sold skirt. for 275 and I get 220 Again, I usually don't sell Escada myself. I love colors like this though, because like on a white wall, it just shows up. Oh, it looks real good. Freaking good. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, my first on the 23rd, God, I can't get over that I sent her name. Free people, the floating memory and this is a prime example of my little rule we were just talking about. So I put the name in this and I've had to release it three times. <laughs> it has not sold. Uh, the Floating Memories Balloon Sleeve Blouse sold for $30. I made $21.54. Whereas if I would have put like Free People Cream Balloon Sleeve Bohemian Woven Blouse, it probably would have sold for like 40 or 50 bucks. Uh, I make $21.54 after that. Then I sold this vintage 1970s Tiger Floral Palm Leaf. I don't know like the name of it, but it's like you get the grid and then there's like you weave the yarn in it. Kind of like a weaving. Sold for $30. I made it $21.54. And then my last on the 23rd went to Kai for her little one. Oh, I'm so excited. Super cute Esprit Floral Navy sweater that was in the hall whenever we did that. E-Spirit. Um, E-Spirit. She was like, I need it. And I was like, $10. And she said, sold. 705. Yes. 18 months. That's going to be a cute little that baby sweater. So cute. Oh, it's adorable. And then none on the 24th. I had two. One went to Miss Amy. And Miss Amy, if your daughters watch, you would pluck her ears because this is a Christmas present. She got the really cute Jeffrey Campbell. They were called the Coltrane cutout little booties from the hall. She got them for 55 bucks. I make 44. Amy, if your daughter's listening, 
Cruz. Turn that button down. And then Miss Mitzi, which I absolutely love that name. Mitzi. That is cute. That's so cute. She got the really cute, um, it was Buxom Curvy was the name of the brand and I had never heard of it. And apparently it's a really upscale, trendy, plus size, like dress, formal wear, kind of like going out brand. So I'm about to be on the lookout for that one. Uh, she got it for $30 and I make 24. So Mitzi, much appreciated. So my gross for this week was 1,888. Mine on Just Posh was $710. And my net was 1,510. Mine was $553.24. And let's take out the 24 of that Christmas ornaments that are probably in the carriage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and as usual, so good. no cost of goods counted in that. Like that Agua Bendita, I think was the most expensive one I've ever bought. And also that didn't count eBay sales or anything. No, nope. just posh. So let us know how you guys' sales week was. It probably slowed down a little because most of this won't be getting on time for Christmas. Yeah, I think it's a little the, last gift, minute. the gift shop is kind of, that ship has sailed. But they're probably next week will be an uptick again because people will get money or gift cards or whatever. Spending eBay has gift cards. cards. Posh does not. Mercari does Poshmark. not. Poshmark. So eBay you better get may that gift be card. a bigger spike in sales, I would say, probably than Posh. you like, so. then Katie's going to be spending that Christmas money. Yes. So, now, <laughs> we will jump into doing the P.O. Box packages. Okay. So, this is package number one. Hi. <laughs> um, oh. This is from Allie who has sent us packages before and has purchased from us before. And she is so sweet and She's amazing. She's adorable. She has sent oh, us some of like our favorite things ever. So I'm oh, so excited about this. We love her. Allie Selling Things, it appears it's her business name. Oh, so everyone go check out Allie Selling Things. Uh, it's literally a huge like, it's, you, a it's like a moving box. Box, so if I was moving. And all of these are cut open, but we haven't seen anything. Oh. Oh my god. I know exactly what she's doing. Wait a second. Saying. I love that all these are good bowl bags too, <laughs> which is hysterical. Jack and Ryan, please enjoy these random goodies I thrifted lately. No idea if the pumpkin works. But fingers crossed. Love you both endlessly. I she's love Allie. The she is, person she ever. knows exactly what we love. Okay. Like she like? knows us so <laughs> This one. Oh, get the box. She literally. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Allie. there's probably a cord in there. Oh, there is. Woof. Oh, that's one broke. Look at how cute this. Oh, look at how oh, happy. Oh, my gosh. Is something in there? It might be like the lighter a cord. No, it's the cord scrape on the back. Woof. Thank God. Oh, my gosh, Allie. I'm also what shocked, the... amazed, and Why... profounded that this came in. I was going like, to say, brave that she said this. This is amazing. I'm literally dead. This is so cute. The great pumpkin is real and he's in my home. We're gonna have this out for Christmas. I just want to say that. <laughs> yeah, also, literally. Thanks for the bags, Allie. Love them. And they're all good Thank you bags. so much, this Allie. So was there... That's adorable. Yeah, there's one more thing. Oh, about okay. Them. I was gonna say, she did say this stuff. This is enough for me, though. This is probably gonna go to Debbie. Oh. Look at this little baby. That's also, I feel like Look I could picture her. the girlies using that. Oh, 100%. That is so. Debbie's gonna be a girly, though. Stinking cute. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna oh, love that. Allie, Are you kidding me? So Her little interview. Literally. Like, My pug purse. She does too much. Okay. Oh, and then there's, there's a t-shirt. And the t-shirt says, I've got, I actually have this t-shirt. Oh, I love it. Now I can match. I got your back. And he's holding a spine. I love that. How cute. Allie. Allie. You did the most. As always. And you didn't have to. I was gonna say, as always, <laughs> you knew exactly what she said. Oh, so nice. She's the one who like understands the assignment. She, she is the teacher. <laughs> she does the extra credit. She is the teacher. Okay. She is the teacher. So let's I'm go. so excited. I don't have enough Halloween Bloom ones. Some would say I do. I would say I do. So next we have two cards and these are both from Glamma. And if any of you sent these like a hot minute ago, I'm sorry, we just haven't checked your PO box for a long I'm time. I'm not good at that. The one is to Ryan. I think it's a birthday Oh, this card. is a birthday present because it's the 16th November. Okay, good. But I'll open this Woo. one because this should be Halloween. Oh, that's cute. When zombies work out. <gasps> Mine says, you're one of the Gouda ones. You cheddar believe it. I love that. And it's funny because I can't have cheese. Oh. Oh my God, she sent us a Nordstrom Rack gift card. Well, she sent you, that's your birthday. Oh, oh. He's Glamma. She sent me a Nordstrom Rack gift card. Oh. Much love and many wishes for a wonderful year, so kiddo. Glamma and Glampa. Glamma and Glampa. And then this 
Glamma Aww. sent us for Halloween. She sent us a fifteen dollar Taco Bell gift card. Glamma. She's literally the absolute sweetest. I love her to when death. When zombies mm -hmm. work out, keep it together and have a happy Halloween. There's little hands. In oh, there. Glamma. Uh, mine says just a cheesy wish for a happy birthday. Glamma. She is so kind. Glamma is like the sweetest person Ugh. on the face of the earth. Glamma. Changed my mind. Okay, so the next one, I can do this because okay. they, this company reached out to me and said, can we send you some? And I said, sure. And so you're going to see them. They're these cute, oh, cute. Rolling Stone poly mailers. Um, they are from Ship Happens. Cute. I know. They're adorable. I really like those. <laughs> oh, this is from Cat Cram. Catherine. Oh, and she has an a ASPCA little sticker. Love that for her. Let's see. I see the word scary. Is it a dish towel? exciting. Oh, it is. It's oh, like it a little dish towel. Oh, that's so cute. As if not showing you guys. Eat, drink, and be scary. With How this fun, like, stinking cute. Like marbling. Oh, little... she sent us cards. She sent me cards. Woo! <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's more. Creep it real. I love that. And oh, this one says home sweet haunted home. I and love these. Really they're like little. Like watermelon. They're marble. like, I was gonna say they're like cute and artsy, it's but then cool. also like spoopy. Feed me candy and tell me I'm pretty. I love this. These are, These so, are so cute. They're pretty too. We're 100% oh gonna put gosh. those on my new oven when I get a home. I was gonna say, I'll keep them for our house. Yes. They'll be the okay. first ones that we put out. Card number one. That's How really pretty. Beautiful. I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Cat cream. Don't say. You did not need to do that. She did send me money. I'm not gonna say how much, because it's too freaking much. Good thing I got you address. Stop, yeah, as we send, send it back. back. Graduation cards are almost impossible to find in December. <laughs> 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 well, hold on, I don't know. I love that. Up. Apparently there's a big holiday that takes up most of the greeting card space. That's hysterical. <laughs> oh, oh my God. She Happy. is literally- I'm gonna cry, you guys. Like, this is probably a birthday card, I'm gonna cry. That is really ridiculous. You did Come on. not. Life can be counted in candles or measured in years that have flown. It's counted in kindness. Aw, and a Taco Bell gift card. And a and Starbucks, Starbucks gift. gift. She's like too, she's, she's so actually like sweet. too sweet. Like, Wishing you always. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, you're one of her favorite people Catherine in the universe. Tucson. You're going to have to send her a Your biggest... long thank you card. Oh, I'm going to have to get a good one. That's Instead of one of those ridiculous. little rinky ones I'm going to send my family. People that came to Ryan's little graduation gathering weren't even that sweet. No. <laughs> That's so nice, Cat. That's Stop it. That's Ryan. too nice. Ugh. Then we have Fab Judy. Fab Judy. Which I miss Fab Judy. She used to be in the premiere sometimes. I know. So Fab I Judy, not, I hope you're doing okay, I have not really. seen her in a hot minute. Love you, miss you. Let's see. <gasps> okay, so these look like matching. <gasps> she always gives the best t-shirt. She that has. That Courage the Cowardly Dog t-shirt, I wear that like. I wear the Anna Nicole Smith t-shirt at, at least once a week. At least once a week. Okay, ready? <gasps> Pugs and tacos. This is so cute. Oh, I love oh. this. And it kind of looks like Mark. We you could captured get, his we could, dopey grin. We could get we could get Mike a little like taco costume and like wear these as a family picture. Oh my god, we should. So oh, that'd be adorable. Oh, oh I love Judy. that. Thank you, Judy. And then there's two of this, so I wonder if this is like matchy matchy too. Okay, I think it's a mug because it says mug. Okay. On the front. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get it open. Oh, so cute. That Star is Pugs so coffee. So cute. Now we can get Mike also a little like coffee mug costume. That's, we'll take another one. <laughs> that's adorable. That's so cute. That Star almost Pugs looks like coffee. that looks a lot like my mom's pug. It's just Missy. Missy. Oh. That's hysterical. Judy, Judy thank you thank so you. much. As usual, you guys this is a really do good not need to send us anything. Seriously. I know this is like early Christmas. That's adorable. Last one is from Gina, Gina. Which, another person we love. We I said that about everyone, Gina. but y'all are all so amazing. Okay. Happy belated Ryan. Oh, okay. Birthday card. It's, you don't need to send me anything. Birthday gift like, my birthday. Birthday gift my birthday card, but birthday gift my birthday. birthday, 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 birthday. Ryan, high five, fist bump, you get the idea. Happy birthday. Even <laughs> very, though it's your day, I had to send a gift for Jack too. She's so oh, sweet. <laughs> Sending all my love Thank from you, Ohio. Gina. Love Gina. Gina's got me. Love you too, Gina. Gina's looking out for me. These are so <laughs> cute. <laughs> oh, so happy. Oh. Ohio. That is so- Is that where Gina's from? Oh yeah, she is from Ohio. Yeah. I cute. like that it's like, yeah. it's like bendy. Okay, um, so this is gonna be my Christmas drinking cup tonight. Are you kidding me? I love this. Thank you so much, Gina. These are so fun. These are really I pretty. like that you can't 
You can't break them. Yeah. That's good for me. Uh, because oh my gosh. I'm a klutz. Already today, Ryan's dropped like five things. <sighs> Debbie's been on his case. So when we show her this, she's gonna be <laughs> like, Ryan, God. everything you ever consumed from now on goes it's in gonna this. come out of this cup that you can't break. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much. <laughs> you guys do not guys, need to do any much. of this. Stop oh my gosh, it. sending us like moving boxes and cat cram sending you all that stuff. Like that's insane. Glamma guys. giving us a card for like every accomplishment and every nice. holiday. You guys are so no. sweet. And Fab Judy and Gina. Fab Judy and these nice t-shirts and this cup. So Sweet. This Ryan proof. And we, Merry yes. Christmas to me. And once again, and all if you, you celebrate Christmas, I hope you guys have a, a very, very Christmas. And all of you guys that sent us something extra special Merry Christmas to you guys. And we will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye. Goodbye, everybody.